everyone, my name is Alex Stacy. I have SMA type 2, I'm 26 years old, I live in Florida, and I am an entrepreneur and content creator. Today I am so excited to share with you some of my tips and tricks on how I became a boss babe and how you can start your own side hustle or become your own boss. Entrepreneurship allows you to have the flexibility that disabled people need in order to make money and make a living. So my first tip is if you want to start a side hustle, you need to just take the leap. Take the leap. It is a very scary leap because you don't know if it's going to fail or succeed, but I promise you, the worst thing that's going to happen is that it won't succeed and failure is essential to be able to grow and build as a person. So do not be, af be afraid of failure. My second tip. If it fails, that's okay. Try something new. You're already doing it anyway. You could turn your hobby into something that is bigger and that can help you sustain yourself. So don't be afraid of failure because I guarantee you, you are going to fail at some point and failure is a part of growing. My third tip to entrepreneurship and being your own boss is to be organized. That is something I'm not very good at. And I have definitely learned over the years that when you're your own boss and you want to start your own side hustle or full-time hustle, you really need to be organized with your record keeping and just your organization of what you're doing because it will really help you streamline all of the things that you're going to do because being your own boss means you're in charge of everything and it often includes working many many more hours than you would at a traditional job but let me tell you it is so rewarding you have full creative control you are your own boss and you are the one that you answer to and you have the flexibility to be able to take breaks if you're fatigued to not have to ask for days off, to not ask for disability accommodations because you're the boss here. I'm a very big proponent of disability and entrepreneurship just because I feel like it has so many benefits to the flexibility of a disabled person's life that they need to be able to flourish. And I highly encourage you to take that leap into that thing that you wanted to do, start the podcast. Start the Instagram page, write a book, start selling your art. Whatever it is that you do, I highly encourage you to just take that leap because I promise you it will be worth it.